Hello, it's Lolly. I got my desk cleaned off and I'm ready for another project. And I have had, ever since I bought my Cameo a year ago, um, I've had it in my mind that I want to do this project, which is uh, a hanging uh, for my kitchen that says, this kitchen is made for dancing. And um, a long time ago, I had bought this shadow box from one of the thrift st uh, craft stores, excuse me, when it was on uh, sale. They had this special that all the frames were uh, significantly reduced, and so I figured that was the time to get it. I think it might have been Michael's. I'm not absolutely positive on that. The opening itself, which you can actually see, is about 12 inches. But this thing is bigger because it covers up this part, this part of the frame as well. So I'm going to have to figure this out to where, that's the hang, where I would center my paper. I found this um, a long time ago also when I was at um, Tuesday morning, and I just loved it because it was all this kitchen stuff here. This is from We Are Memory Keepers called Honey, I'm Home, and I'm going to trim the bottom strip off and go with go from there. Okay, so... That's going to get centered in here. Now I need to make sure that that's going to look right from inside. Okay. And then I'm going to put use vinyl to put the letters on the um, on the glass here. Okay, I have the vinyl cut out, and I decided to go with all black because um, the the pattern of my paper is so busy uh, with a lot of color, and I thought I needed the black to to be able to be legible, and hoping that because it's elevated in, in that glass and there's some depth between it and the paper that you will, will be able to read it. Now my weeding tool uh, fell on the floor and got damaged, so I am using a uh, little pin here to get this weeded. And where to start? Where to start? transfer tape here. This is Craftopia Premium. I have um, used just regular uh, cheap contact paper in the past. I want to make sure I use a good product this time around. to make sure that I get my glass all cleaned up. I like to use these uh, washable rags that are really low on lint to apply the uh, rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no grease on here. Helps to go from the inside out so that I'm not getting, uh, not taking the risk of cutting, oops, cutting myself. Pretty good. Sorry about the glare again. Make sure that's nice and dry. Now what I'm thinking, you know what I should do? That's a good idea. To center this over here. 
And that way I can get an idea of where I'm going with my words. So um, what I'm thinking is I'd like to maybe not put it right in the center, but maybe off center a little bit and then put a wooden spoon right here um, against the paper. So let's try. Now, just so you know, oh, I barely got that on the uh, the last part of that D there. Just so you know that this original design, which I got from uh, Silhouette Design Store, also had um, little dots in it that I just removed from the design so that I wouldn't have to um, worry about... Whoops, well, that's quick. <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about having too much of a detail there. Now this can be used again. There we go. Now this just needs to go into the frame. But I think before I do that, while I have it here, I'm going to just wipe off this side as well. Now um, this, as you can see, it's pretty shiny from this side. I see I got an air bubble in there I can work on there. Um, and I chose to put the vinyl on the other side. I thought that the matte look of it might help me. Um, but you can reverse the image and put it on the back side, but I like that it's uh, it's more matte and chalkboardy looking this way, and um, I think it's going to help because of the fact that it's not picking up any glare. It's going to help me be able to see that from um, in front of this huge pattern, if that makes sense. Anyway, that was my thinking. So, okay, now let's see if we can get this put back together again. Oh yeah, that's going to be really cute. So now what I want to do, like I said, is I'm going to look for a new wooden spoon, paint it, and stick it inside here on the paper right there. I think that would be just adorable. So I went to the store and got a brand new spoon, and this is the one I want to get. It's about the right size to paint and put in there. I like this color of green. I don't have anything really, really close. This is as close as I can get, which is like an apple green, but I think if I just add a pinch of black paint to it, it will um, make it a better color for me. So let's see what I can find here. Okay, now the next thing I was thinking was maybe going through my stash and seeing about some ribbon or some kind of trim that I can put around this. So, hopefully, let me uh, take a look and see what I have in my stash because I don't want to go out and buy something just for this. Okay, so I just grabbed some things. I do have this, which is about that color too. And I grabbed this one piece of that that I had left over, some of this. I'm wondering about something like this with the green in the middle. Ooh, I think I'll do that. Okay, let me get some Fabri-Tac. It needs something else, and I'm wondering if even... If this is too wide. Nope, I don't think so. Hmm. 
Maybe right there at the joints would be good. No, it has to look like it's been tied around, so I'll put it right in the middle here. Okay, so that's pretty much dry, but then I thought I might like a couple of flat back pearls right here along the handle. I didn't want the really bright white, and these ones are kind of like a rose gold almost. I would prefer just an ivory color, but like I said, I don't want to go to the store to buy things for this project. I just want to make it with what I have. There we go. That'll be really cute. And I'll just leave it like that, let it dry for about 20 minutes, and then I'll insert it into here. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to turn this over, remove the back again. I had taken it off to carried around the house and move it and I didn't want it coming apart so now let's get this back open and you can see that uh, all I have to do is to glue this right in here like that and I do want to make sure I'm holding this so it doesn't come apart that this is where I'm going to want it very cute so I do want it at a little bit of an angle, maybe not so much. We'll see. And now this is going to need to set up. I'm going to let that set for 20 minutes, then I will assemble the whole thing. Okay, so let's put this together. Oops, I've already got this turned around. That's going to be a problem. I needed to have it right side up. And there it is. Oh, I am so in love. I know you can't see the whole thing. Let's get this like that. I'm really happy with it. This is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm super, super excited. Thank you for watching this process. And again, this is a pro project I had sitting around for a long time wanting to do. So I'm glad to finally tackle it and get it done. Thank you so much for watching.